we have this weaponized area rug here. He spends his whole day lying flat on the pavement. You know, like your friend Steve. Except Steve doesn't have a switchblade up his butthole. I don't think. Wait, does he? This guy isn't looking for trouble. He's basically furniture with an attitude problem. But he has zero patience for gentrification. If you step on his turf, and I mean literally step on him, he takes it personally and stabby stab stabs you with this sinister tool. You do not want to get Steve Irwin. And look, maximum respect to the OG Steve Irwin, the king of wildlife adventure. Rest in peace. But that tragedy proved that even the highest level players can get caught by the hitbox if they startle this thing. He runs the camouflage set. He buries himself in the sand so he looks like the sidewalk. You think you're walking on the beach when actually you're standing on his face. That is a maximum violation of the HOA rules. His turf? Tropical and subtropical coastal waters worldwide. His weapon? It's not just a poker, it's a serrated shank in the tail. When the reflex triggers, that tail whips up faster than you can blink. It cuts going in, and the serrations rip the tissue coming out. And your pain level? High. The venom causes vasodilation, which is fancy talk for turning your leg into a purple balloon animal. Your survival chance? High. You'll live if you don't get hit in the torso where all your important bits are, but you'll be limping for a month to remind you who owns the block.